and welcome to the Adults Play Minecraft server. Okay, we're here in front of our shop that we opened last episode. Um, as you can see, I got my rose bushes that I was looking for. I did put in some chests and go ahead and set things up so the shop is open for business. So let's take a look inside real quick and I'll just show you what I'm selling and see if we've made any sales. So here we have some enchanted iron shovels, which we are selling for two iron ingots each. Nobody's bought any of those. Can't say they, I blame them if they don't want to buy them, but you know, for an enchanted shovel, it's got like silk touch or something like that on it. It's not a bad price. It's not going to last forever, but you know. Hopefully you get something out of out of it and makes it worthwhile. So we got regular iron swords here. I'm doing these for one iron ingot each. No sales on those shovels. Um, I'm doing two for one iron ingot. Get so many of them with that drown farm. Uh, we have some enchanted swords here. These are two iron ingots each. Again, uh, no takers on that. Um, enchanted armor sets. Okay, we did sell one set here, and these are four iron for the complete set. Now, I had a chainmail set here, so I know that somebody wanted the chainmail, so that's good. But And I do mix and match. What that means is if they want this helmet and this uh, chest plate and those leggings and those boots, go ahead, do it, mix and match, whatever you want. Um, I'm, I'm not really expecting to sell them, but you know, I've got some enchanted stuff. Maybe as well. Let's try to sell it. Maybe somebody will want it for something. Uh, Nautilus shells, I'm doing for one iron nugget each. I just put that in there just as a. So people don't think I meant ingots. It's actually nuggets, because, you know, there's so many of them. Not that I'm really planning on selling that many of them, but, uh, you know, maybe somebody wants some for conduits or whatever. And then, of course, we have our tridents. And I'm selling these for one diamond each or 32 iron each. And it looks like I've sold nine here. And then I've made some coupons for everybody. I put them in their uh, chest in the um, post office. So um, we're doing half price on them. So I've got myself uh, uh, some half price uh, iron. Uh, uh, Tridents that were sold, so we, we did pretty good. We sold uh, 11 tridents. I do have a few more that uh, that I can put in here and restock the shop. Let me just kind of tidy this up a little bit, make it look nice. There we go. Yeah, every little bit counts. I'm not really counting on tons of sales either, so. But uh, that's that. And, um,. It looks like there's a present over here. I haven't seen this yet. Let me take a look at that real quick. Interesting to see what this is. This do not open until September 28th. Oh, okay. I know what that is. It's not for us. Okay, and this is pay attention deals priced in iron are for iron only. This is the um, ah, free arrows. <laughs> Take a stack. You can use them. So we have uh, enchant crossbows. Um, enchanted crossbows two for one diamond. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, and then we have in here, we've got um, four emerald blocks for one diamond. Um, plus one token equals 32 iron. One totem. Four emerald block plus one totem is 32 iron or four emerald blocks plus one diamond. You know what, I've got we do that. Let me do this. I'm going to do, here's 32. I'm going to go ahead and take one totem and die. One stack of those four emeralds. Or I can buy, you know, four emeralds for one diamond as well. 
Uh, what was it? Uh, these are nine of uh, thirty-six emeralds. So yeah, we've got um, a um, raid farm now. So what's in here? These are totem on dyings, um, eight iron each. I am out of iron pretty much, so we're just gonna leave that be. But some pretty good deals there. Um, I did want to buy some more. Um, this stuff, uh, <laughs> terracotta. We've got a new bridge here, too, looks like. So, nothing cool in here. Nah, just jump. I'll hail the chicken. I have no idea. Ugh. Why? Uh, why granite? <laughs> this is, I think, Googleplex. Sir Googleplex is doing this here. I don't know. Coming soon. Sir Googleplex is Vendomatic. Okay. And, um, oh, I got to show you guys this. Kylie finished up her slime store. Ooh, it's even more than when I saw it last time. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful slimes there everywhere. Fantastic. I don't need any slime at the moment, so but we'll check that out when the time comes. I think it was like a stack for one diamond or something like that. That's what she was selling them for. Um, Dad plays Minecraft. Finished up the, uh, the city hall or whatever it is. Community center. Uh, and I don't know if I showed you guys this, but he also finished the map. This is the map. We are way over here in this corner here. That it needs to be updated because it's not current with what the building looks like. But that's only you can only really see the uh, the lighthouse here, um, and then we're this is our main island here. And you might you might be able to see like the uh, the little tower thing that we got there, the memorial. And then anything that we build on this side of the island, but everything else is a map further down. And there, of course, is the village there, and this is JD's base up here. I don't know where everybody's bases are. Um, I, th I think that's Crow's base. Uh, I think this is. Um, here, yeah, this is a uh, spawn. There's the rocket shop. You don't see the um, the slime uh, store in there yet. So I don't know where everybody's bases are, but um, that's pretty cool. And uh, let me check my mailbox real quick to see if there's anything in there. Yeah, because, oh yeah, I was looking for that coupon. So I think there was a coupon I had. Oh, cool. Somebody left me a totem of undying. Cool. Super rockets, a glass. Okay, more rockets. Uh, I don't need another saddle. Okay. Okay. And that is um, Drummer Boy's birthday is on the 28th. So we got to give him a present. So I'll have to think of something that I can uh, put in there. And that, that's two days from now. So, uh, so yeah, I'll come up with something and, and I'll give it to, um, to Kitty to put in there. Um, all right. So let me um, head back over to the terracotta shop. Since I'm here, I may as well buy something. Because I've started a little bit on our village. Um, I can only go so far with it at the moment because 
uh, of, of the, um, I don't have an awful lot of concrete or terracotta and then uh, getting the colors that you need for everything that, that you want to do is a little bit hard like um, the white you, you, and if you're doing concrete or terracotta you can't do stairs so it kind of makes it a little bit hard what are the prices of this stuff I don't remember who knew all terracotta two stacks for one diamond or 32 iron okay Okay, I'm going to grab some pink, two stacks for one diamond, and I don't know why people are filling that up with cobblestone and stone, it's kind of rude. Yeah, I'm going to leave that, oh there's a bed over here. Sorry guys, oh, boot flex is going to do it. Never mind. All right, Let's see, maybe, oh, I don't have room, yeah, I do, no, I don't, I say I don't have any room, and I really don't, so let me uh, head back uh, to our base, and I'll meet you over there, okay, you may have noticed that I had some, um, like, netherrack and some quartz on me, um, I, I need a little bit of quartz again for what I'm working on. I need some stairs. I hate building with quartz because it's just so difficult to get in large enough quantities. I When I get it, I usually just save it for redstone projects. But I do need a little bit of it because I actually need one more block of quartz. Let me put this away. I had like three pieces. I needed literally one piece. That, and then I'm going to make a stair out of this because I just need the one. Let's put some more stuff away. Alright. And then I'm just going to kind of quickly show you what I've done over here. We'll end up here. I'll, I'll show you the change to that. Nothing big there. But I started on a little bit of the village here. Um, and I'm going to try to remember to put up a picture of the idea that I have for this village. It's um, an actual Greek village. And they had like this thing. This is actually a clock tower in the picture. And then there's this big white building that was behind it. And then all these different colorful houses. So I put up, the, you know, of course we did this a couple episodes ago. Nobody's added any names yet, but that's okay. They will if they want to. And then there's got this building, white building with the arches in the front of it. And of course I ran out of quartz. There we go. Now we know our arches are complete. Um, and it's just taking a lot of um, white concrete. So probably should have got some... Um, bone meal while I was at the, the spawn but as you can see here I've kind of put down all this um, stone here and then some like stone stairs here because um, there's like a road that goes along the front of this village in the picture and then all and that's right along the seaside and then all the buildings are go across from there and then go up in elevation a bit but um, yeah, this is where I'm starting. I'm still not quite certain exactly what I'm going to do with all of it. But um, I'm going to have to make a lot more um, white concrete powder. Um, it's going to be two stories at least. So I'm going to work on that between episodes. Um, and then I'll bring you back to, to kind of show you what I've been doing there. And then I, I bought that other... Um, terracotta so that we can do some different colored buildings so we got the pink I've got some white terracotta which is more of a, like a, a light pink color as well um, and then we'll do some 
some, just some different colors because uh, most of those villages are kind of like these bright pastel colors it just it's really kind of gorgeous looking um but uh, that's where i'm at at the moment i'm not going to do any building on camera today i've just got to kind of uh, figure out more what i'm going to do with this building and when i have time i'm gonna work on it between episodes and i'll bring it back to show it to you and we'll see what we get up to then okay the quick change that i did here at the um, drown farm just just so you can see up here i put a trap door in here just so things don't fall down there i did have a zombie fall down there on me um and i put this um there's actually two of them there's another one underneath here just this is the only way you can kind of get them to connect to each other um i saw somebody did this i don't remember who um but if you take a um scaffolding block at the top and then water log it um I'll show you here in a moment. So I'm going to open this trap door so that I can. Come on. There we go. All right. So nothing's changed down here. Although I do need to get. Let me see how many tridents I have in here. Six ready to go and then over here so down here I've got three that I need to repair still so no big deal there so whoever gave me this saddle I've got a chest full of them so <laughs> go ahead and get rid of that stuff I've got the garbage disposal these guys do their thing I'm not gonna get any of them no I'm not right now uh so um, I've also been using two tridents in the, in the killer. Seems to kill them a little bit faster. Doesn't give me any more loot, but uh, it does kill them a little bit faster. Also, um, I managed to get a mending book. Um, there, the iron farm, which is kind of decommissioned now because the villagers, for some reason, are glitching out of it. Um, does have a villager there that sells mending books for um, 10 emeralds. Okay. Anyways, to show you this real quick, you just come up here, you'll go through the scaffolding and land on top of it, just like that. You're not bobbing in water. Anyways, yeah, we have a, a, a mending villager at the iron farm that sells for uh, a mending book for 10 emeralds and, and a book. So I'm that's wonderful. That's kind of the reason why I wanted to get some of these emeralds so that I can go back there and um, see if I can hit him up again, get a couple more um, mending books going, and then uh, uh, get some stuff on, on some of my stuff. So right now I've got it on the sword. The bow does not have mending because it's got infinity on it. And I've got it on this silk touch pick. And that's it. Um, I have had zero luck with um, getting any mending at all from uh, AFK Fishing. So, kind of sad. But that's just the way it is. Um, if you need a... Better than falling for though, I'm your guy. I got tons of that stuff. Okay, well, that's it for this episode. I know it's a little short. We didn't do too much, but I did get to show you around the new sh the shop, the what it looks like, and we've made some sales, which is fantastic. Um, and I'm showing you what I'm, a little bit of progress I'm doing here on our village. It's going to be a slow process. It's um, be a little expensive having to buy all that terracotta, but... I don't know where the mace is at, and I don't want to um, interfere with um, whomever's business that is either. I mean, they got there first, so it's only fair that they should have it. So, anyways, that's it um, for this episode. So, until next time, this is Desert Rat. Have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>
Thank you.